everyone, it's Naomi Shops here and it is my weekly weigh-in. I know I didn't do it last week and I'm gonna be honest, it's because I was on a bender. I completely fell off the wagon. I'm not going to lie and sugarcoat it. I just kinda had it with everything. I wasn't losing the weight, I wasn't doing anything. I got fed up and I sabotaged myself. And I guarantee that I go look back at my video the week before and I hear it in my voice that I was getting frustrated and I was promising myself that I wasn't going to cave and I did. Maybe it was because it was that time of the month. I don't know, but I lost all control and I went on a complete bender and I have no excuses as to why except that I stink. Okay, so what I want to talk about this week is binge eating where we get our eating habits from and what has maybe steered you on the path that maybe you are getting away from now. My binge eating, I know where it stems from and it stems from being really poor when I was younger to actually being homeless and having to beg for food in order for, for us to be able to eat, me and my brother and my mother. And it's a sad story, but I know that that's where my food issues come from because I didn't know when my next meal was going to be. It's a constant fear of, well, I better eat as much as I can now because maybe next week I won't have any food. And there were times like that. Uh, and so for me, I know that is where it stemmed from. It also stems from having two brothers. So when my two brothers were living with me, heck when only one of my brothers was living with me and my other one was living with his dad it was a constant fight for food in my house when you have growing boys in your home they eat you at a house and home I know this because I have a boy of my own and they just eat and they eat and they eat so not only do I have that whole when are you gonna eat next as a child being homeless when I wasn't homeless there was the fear of is there going to be food in the refrigerator when I get home from school or will my brother beat me to it? So that was a constant feeling too. So it would be like, well, eat it all up because once my brother gets around, then I'm not gonna have anything. Um, so there's two things that I know brought me to the path that I'm on. I'm not blaming anyone. What I'm saying is I know that subconsciously those things have always played a factor in my head. And I know, I know that I'm gonna have a meal tomorrow and I'm gonna have a meal the day after that. My financial situation now is a lot better than when I was a kid, but it's something with that baggage that constantly carries with you. And I don't know why. The next thing is, is the binge eating. And it's such a terrible thing. And I don't know if it's because of that whole feeling, like maybe I'm not gonna have any food around that I do that, but I get to these points where my mind just becomes infatuated with things where I'm like, all right, I'm gonna have a cheat day and I'm gonna have this, 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 where I'm getting up to like 10,000 calories and I just keep gobbling it all down. It's like nonstop. And that's what I went through last week. And it's so shameful to think about because it's like, Naomi, you know, you can just have a hamburger and be okay. Go have something great if that's really what you need, but you don't need to eat your entire freaking house. And that's my problem is I did, I went in and I ate candy, cookies, popcorn, anything and everything that I was craving. And I don't know why, I don't, I guess in my mind, you know, thinking it through was, well, let me get it all the things that I had cravings for out of the way so I can get back on track. But that's not healthy either. What do you do? What do you do to focus so that if you do go on these benders or you do fail at your diet, they don't go and just completely sabotage everything. I put on seven pounds and that is awful. There is no way humanly possible that you should be able to put on seven pounds in a week, except for that you're putting on that many calories into your body. And that tells you I consumed a lot of calories because I was having milkshakes, ice cream, everything pizza just terrible foods and i i feel like crap today i don't even feel good about myself 
P.S. I'm drinking my tea today, but there's no sugar. I don't drink sweet tea, even if I am on a bender. But I'm so sick of just living this life. I don't, I don't know where to change that mindset. I've read books, I've watched videos, I've gone talked to therapists about it when I've gone through therapy for other things that have happened in my life. I don't know how to turn it off. I don't know how to say, okay, Naomi, stop eating that stuff. You don't want that stuff. It's so bad for you. I know it's bad for me, but dang it, it tastes so freaking good. And that's the problem with sugars and stuff is it just like completely controls you. So that's where I'm at. <laughs> I don't know what, obviously I'm back on track today. I'm eating clean again. Tomorrow I decided that I'm going back on Dukin for 10 days. I'm gonna do solid meat for 10 days. I need to get this weight that I put on off and I know that's probably the, gonna be the best way to do it. I don't know about Weight Watchers. I'm really having a lot of issues with Weight Watchers. I think it's just the new plan. Um, but I did just pay for another month. So I think what I will do is I will do the Dukin for the 10 days. I'm not gonna do vegetables. I'm not gonna do anything for that 10 days and it's gonna kill me because I love vegetables, but I think I'm just gonna go 10 days straight on Dukin. See if I can get this weight off, hopefully maybe a couple more pounds and that 10 days. Even if I could just get this junk that I just put in my body off, I will be happy. But um, I don't know. I don't, I, I think what I need to do is maybe just go to calorie counting and then cut back my carbs. I know that that's what I have to do. The problem is, is that there's no program for when you calorie count. So Weight Watchers, you have a program so you can kind of go in there, you get help, you have some people that are going through the same kind of thing, stuff like that where when you just calorie count, you don't really have that partnership with anyone. Um, I thought about going back to diet bets because you know you have to lose those pounds but that is the most stressful thing ever. <laughs> it is so stressful because they know that it is really hard for you personally to lose the amount of weight that they want you to lose which is four percent. Some people it's not but for me it is and if you are literally starving yourself by the end so you can make your weight so you get your money back plus any that people didn't lose their weight so you get guaranteed your money back plus possibly a few extra bucks if somebody doesn't get to the end goal so I thought about that but I don't want to do the starving thing either I just I just want to live my life I don't know what to do I'm just what I want to do is I want to not talk about it on, on camera anymore I want to go into hiding so I can go I guess get back fat again and live <laughs> life unhappy because that's what I was. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> you know, part of you wants to hide and it doesn't, it, you don't want to go to the camera. You don't want to tell the camera, hey, I screwed up. I did all these things. But if I don't come on here and I don't do this, it's like I can hide from the ugly truth. And the ugly truth is I need some type of accountability because I can't do this on my own. I can't. So I don't know. I'm not going back to Nutrisystem. I hated Nutrisystem. I used to love Weight Watchers. I don't know what's wrong with Weight Watchers. It's so upsetting. I like Dukin, but I like fruits and vegetables. So I, went, I wonder, I guess what I need to do is I need to see if there's a diet that's very close to like Dukin, but adding the fruits and vegetables in. And I don't know, maybe it's something I have to create on my own, but the problem with if I do it on my own is that I'm doing it on my own and I don't have that partnership with a company where you've got lots of people together working on an end goal. <sighs> I don't know. So yes, I didn't do it last week because I failed. I failed myself and I let myself down. But I'm coming on here because I want to look at myself and go, this is what you do every time. This is what you do every time. And this is why you keep having this problem. And yes, I know it's a lifestyle and I know all these things, but my lifestyle <laughs> says go eat all the cake and cookies and ice cream. And I can't seem to convince myself. It's easy to say something. It's a whole other thing to live a life 
permanently like that. And people say, well, you can just have like a little bit of ice cream or whatever. It's all about, you know, rationing things and eating it in the proper serving size. I don't know how to be that person. I don't. I don't know how to be that person that lives their life perfectly. I, I can't. I don't. It's not that I can't. It's that I don't want to, apparently. I just continue to sabotage myself and I don't know why. I don't know why. But that's why I make these videos because I want hopefully something to click somewhere down the line and I go listen to yourself and these are the things that you're doing wrong and maybe the, I'll find something. Maybe something will finally click. All I know is that I'm tired of being a big girl. I'm tired of buying extra large clothes. I'm tired of being tired. I'm I'm tired of being a hermit because I feel embarrassed by my weight because I don't want someone to look at me and go, oh God, she's really let herself go. And that's vanity. I shouldn't live my life like that. I shouldn't worry about what people think, but I do. And I don't know how to fix that. So, and I don't know, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna lose my freaking mind here. I just, I'm at a loss. I'm still continuing forward. Like I said, I, I've gotta do something, so I'm just gonna focus on duking, so that way at least I can maybe get this weight off, so that I can maybe focus on something else. I've always said my end goal is to go back to duking, because I feel like duking is the best that I've done, as far as how their ending uh, plan is because that's what I need. I don't need to be dropped off in a deserted island and then figure out what I'm supposed to do. As you can see, because I went on a bender here, that's what Weight Watchers does is it kind of gets you to a point, but then it kind of leaves you out to hang dry. Because they're saying, you know, well, you'll learn to eat properly by doing this diet. I don't know if that's true because it's not, I think there's mental stuff that goes with it too. And I don't think that these programs really handle that stuff. They just kind of say, okay, well, you just keep eating good and eventually it's like a, you're a trained dog and you'll eventually, <laughs> okay, Pavlov's Law, all right, I'm being controlled, you know, manipulated. No, that's, that's not going to work for me. So I need something else other than just the weight loss part. If you know of a diet plan <laughs> that does this and I know it's a lifestyle I know these words I know it's a lifestyle it's a lifestyle obviously I can't seem to change my lifestyle I have problems and I've tried to address them through therapy and things like that and obviously it doesn't work as a matter of fact whenever I do therapy I tend to sabotage myself right afterwards because therapy can bring out like a lot of inner demons and then it's like you don't want to deal with it. So for me, I eat my feelings too, which is a whole nother thing. Um, I'm either so stressed out that I don't eat at all and then I get like sucked up or I plump up because I'm so stressed out. And there is, there's a lot of stress going on in my life that I can't really discuss and I wish I could discuss and I will hopefully be able to discuss at a later date. But you know, some things have to stay private at the time being and then all will be revealed. I hate to be one of those people, but um, maybe that's part of it that's triggering a lot of this stuff too, is that I'm dealing with stress and uh, yeah, can't really discuss it. And that's hard when you have to keep all that stuff internal. So I'm hoping that one day I can talk about it. <laughs> maybe, maybe that will be what will set me free. I don't know. But I know this is a crazy video and I'm completely rambling, but it's like I need to just talk this stuff out in my head and hopefully work through it. Like I said, I am the first one to take accountability for myself. I don't want to make mistakes, not mistakes. I know I'm going to make mistakes, although I would like to not make mistakes. I know I'm not perfect. I know I'm going to make mistakes, but it kills me. It kills me. So... I feel like if I don't do a video for the week, you should just go ahead and tell me what the hell are you doing? Because I'm probably doing something I shouldn't be doing, like eating cake and ice cream and all the crap that I was eating this week. I just, I just can't. Anyway, so not the best, most cheerful video, but like I said, I keep these as real as possible because I do this for me. 
these videos don't even really get watched that much I get very little views on them but this is more for me to put it out in the world so that I keep accountable because I can't keep these deep dark secrets to myself but anyway I hope you guys are all doing well um, wish me luck on this next 10 days it's gonna be rough because I have been eating sugars and all this terrible stuff and I've been eating sugars and stuff through Weight Watchers too so it's gonna be a little bit rough um, but I'll get through it. I'll definitely be cranky for the next three days. So that's tomorrow that I will start that. So um, that'll be fun. <laughs> All right, guys. I hope next week I am on a whole new level. I hope that I'm happy. I hope that I have positive news to bring. And I hope I become enlightened on what my problem is besides sabotaging myself and stress. And I hope you guys are doing well. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.